Finally got the last few things rounded up and done, figured out for Doc Ock, so I can show you the last tentacle we need to make, um, or the last bit we need to add on to the tentacles and, of course, his chest itself so that you can attach the backpack and everything. Um, this is the torso I used for Dr. Octopus. I took the cape off to a degree. That way you all can see how exactly it attaches. You just take uh, this piece right here, and you're going to take it and just straight up glue it right on just like that. You want the longer side to be on the actual back itself because that gives it more space to glue and seal attached to. And the shorter end, you want to be behind them because you want it to be like a backpack, not like a stomach pack type thing. <laughs> um, so, but anyways, that's how you do that part. Now, as for the last of the arms... Um, I went ahead and pre-gamed, did some stuff off-screen so I could have it all ready to show you all the very last step. Um, this is the pack that we've been working on so far. I just decided to scrap the old pack. As you can see, I'm going to peel some parts off of it, make a whole new one. But um, now we have the claw all done. I know the color changed. That's because I took the claws from my old one. Um, they're made the same way. It's literally just a different color. So, we have this last piece right here where that's attached. Oh, and by the way, you wanted to do the claw trick on the tentacles the whole th way. That way it could get that kind of mechanical uh, look. So, now what you're going to do, you're going to get some glue. You're going to attach, you're going to apply it right there. Nice and good. And then you're going to very delicately attach this piece just like that. And you're going to have to hold it for a minute so it'll seal. But make sure, because I didn't, make sure. Um, and get it even, get it exactly the way you want it to seal. And then you are going to apply lots more glue once this gets dry enough to stay. Now it helps if you can... Well, no, we're not going to do that. I'm just going to hold it here and let it seal for a minute. Um, just because I know that's always going to be the easier bet. And it's always going to make it come along better. Now it's about to the point that I can just tip it up like that and leave it to dry so we'll be back in a few minutes once it's dried i'll show you all the finished product of that arm and then you'll just rinse and repeat that process all right so now that it should be pretty well dry enough i can gently move it and show you all what it looks like all finished product of that one arm so that's what that one is going to look like and how it should turn out once you have gotten it all built and taken care of Anyways, I think that's going to do it for this one, for all of these. Actually, now you all know how to make Dr. Octopus's tentacles. Uh, make your own, add your own twists. I hope you do. Um, I made this to be a starting design, and I want to see people add to it, do different, do better, do whatever. Anything you guys want to do. I just did this this way. So, uh, anyways, that's going to do it for this video and for all of those. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.